Well, hey, how y'all doing out there? And uh, good morning, early morning this morning. Uh, got to got to take care of some business in town, as y'all can tell. I'm all I'm all dressed up. So I was thinking about my business in town and thinking about how much I really didn't want to do it and how, you know, some parts of this um, society we live in this um, this grand illusion called the United States of America. Um, we got to do some things and then we can break away from some things. So we're kind of like half ass free. And, well, it kind of got reminded me about that movie, The Matrix, uh, in that scene where uh, Neo, the, the main character, you know, uh, he goes to see the Oracle, who's supposed to be a program that can see the future or, or, or tell you which way to go in the future. And um, he sees this little bald headed kid and a little bald headed kid sitting there like bending spoons with his mind, you know. And uh, of course, we've all seen this, you know, in, in, uh, in our real lives. And, uh, but this is on the movie, so. Uh, and Neo staring at the little kid, probably because probably it looks weird. <laughs> but now, I'm serious, not so the little kid's bending the spoons, and a uh, uh, little kid uh, uh, hands Neo one, and he says, uh, he says, uh, just remember that you can, you know, that you can't bend the spoon. It's impossible to, to, to that's impossible. He said, just remember the truth. And Neo said, what is the truth? And he said, there is no spoon. And that's kind of way, and this gives me chills to think about this, because your life that you live every day, every bit that you don't feel on your skin, smell in your nose, taste in your mouth, or see with your eyes, or hear with your ears, is an illusion. You don't have to do it. You don't have to pay taxes. You don't have to work a 40-hour-a-week job. You don't have to send your kids to school. You don't have to sit, fill them full of vaccinations. That's the matrix. That's the things that People like me and your other brothers and sisters come out here and try to remind you of. There is no spoon. There is no safety. Safety is another illusion. It's the illusion that keeps you, this is the crazy one, that keeps you wanting that government because every one of us wants to be safe. Every one of us wants to think that there's either some government or police officer or maybe even some of us like to believe that there's some superhero or God or, or angel on my shoulder. Something always to keep you safe because we, we have this thing, this disease we have to fight back. It's called fear. <laughs> and there's no spoon with fear, that's for sure. Fear fear is the spoon. And uh, if you could just get this one concept in your mind that everything around you is voluntary, that these corporations, even the corporations that we bitch about, the super rich elite, Board of directors from Exxon Mobil down to Walmart down to the dollar store are only there because we keep the illusion alive. We're the little batteries in those big towers in that movie, The Matrix. And by the way, The Matrix is a great movie uh, just for entertainment. It's brain candy. It's good brain candy. Uh, but the one thing The Matrix says was a good uh, parallel and uh, how things really are and how you're fooled into doing what you do every day, which is what you don't want to do. You do you, you're not doing what you want to do right now. I'm fixing to go do something I don't want to do right now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's just, it's amazing that we have to keep up with some things to just keep going along or do it. Because we can bend ourselves around all of this. Because there is no spoon. We bend ourselves to make the spoon bend. We have to change our mind. Uh, we have to change the concept of our thoughts even or, or the actions of our bodies uh, to even get along in this society because we're going against the grain of what we know is right in our mind and in our spirit and just who we are. We, we were born into this, uh, so we think it's all real. It's just as real as you make it. Uh, like Buddha said, the mind is everything, what you think you become. Even Jesus said, what, what you think is you'll, be, you'll become it or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, I just want you to think about that little concept today. And uh, remember when you look around you or you look at some of the problems in your life, wonder if that really, you know, just, is that an illusion? Is that part of the matrix? Or is this like the natural law part of life? That's something I really have to do. Because everything else you're really doing voluntarily and, uh, all the while, like I said, from paying taxes to, to hell, even just the way you live. It's just what you've been told. Um, you can bend around that any way you want. There is no spoon.
There is no spoon. So think about that today. Kind of deep, but uh, hey, and just for old retro night, uh, I know, what is it, Thursday? So they always do that throwback Thursdays that they used to. How about everybody watch The Matrix tonight? That was a pretty cool movie. I ain't talking about, you know, you watch the old trilogy. They they did make them some money off of it. Now, <laughs> it's still Hollywood, and I'm not asking you to, to do anything uh, uh, in your thought process uh, and relate it to brain candy, but sometimes we can entertain our brains with uh, some, some things like that. There's some great philosophy in that movie, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of good fiction out there that has great philosophy and, and great thought processes and, and great ideas. So think about that. And maybe uh, everybody uh, just remember, there is no spoon in that matrix. Uh, it's got you. <laughs> and there's one way out. There's one way out of the matrix. You don't live in fear. Think about that. Peace.